All right, g'day guys. Uh, welcome to another video uh, focused on Realmworks. Um, and today we've got a pretty exciting topic and that is how to export content. Uh, we're gonna be focusing on uh, full and partial exports, um, basically showing you the new functionality that's coming out in the, the big patch. Uh, I can't tell you when the patch is coming, I do know it is soon. Um, and as you can tell from uh, what you're about to see, I have played with it and it's amazing. All right, so let's jump over. All right, so I'm in my realm right now. I'm in my, my primary realm. Um, let's collapse everything. It's it's my very large realm for anyone that has seen it before. Um, and what you're gonna see uh, probably standing out to you is there's a new tab option, and that is the share option. So if we look here, we can see we've got options to import, view imports, and manage exports. Now, for those of you doing this for the first time, there's probably actually gonna be a fourth button, all right? And that'll exist about here. And that is a uh, prepared database uh, for export. I, I suggest you guys will, well, you're absolutely going to need to click that if you want to play with the export functionality, but you're going to want to click that when you have time to do it. It does take a bit of time, all right? So don't do it just before a game. Um, do it when you, you've basically got some time to go away and get a coffee because it is going to take a bit of time to go through and convert your database into something that's compatible with the export functionality. All right, now if you want to learn how to import, you can watch some, uh, one of my other videos. Uh, it'll be released around the same time. If you want to learn how to copy, again, there'll be another video. This one's going to be focused largely on the Manage Exports option. All right, so we'll click this button here. Now, up the top, we've got three tabs. These are the different type of exports we can do. I've got Export Entire Realm, which is, as it sounds, it's my whole realm. And as you can see, I've already done this a few times. I'm up to version 3.5. Uh, as part of the beta testing, we've done a lot of these. Um, I can uh, select a story or source, or mechanic source, sorry. Um, that would be uh, most likely from, uh, oh sorry, that would be from my stories. Now I don't actually use story sources in my, my content, um, but having today seen how um, Lone Wolf do it, I, I think I need to change that. So if we, if we have a look here, we'll, we'll create a story source. All right, deadly depth in. And we'll save that. And what I would generally do is populate this with information so that I could uh, come along here and select it. All right, so let's see what that looks like. There we go. Now, the idea of this being is once you once you do an export of your realm and someone imports it, this is where the person's going to go when they first click enter. Okay, so this is the this is the the entry room. They've opened up the door. They've come into your realm. What is it? What information do you want to present them with? And you can now put that in there, which is fantastic. All right, you can put in an icon. I've just used the D&D &D icon. Um, and you can put some information in, okay? And that's pretty simple. You save it, and then you do a full export. And that will export your entire realm into a file that can basically be used uh, by yourself or someone else to import your content into another realm. All right, and you can see here I've got some different exports that I've saved. So you can see one here that doesn't have a password on it. You can see here one that does have a password on it. All right, so the passwords are there to obviously protect your content. So when you click the full export, you've got a few options. You can do a player export, which will only export the uh, revealed content. Uh, I guess you'd give that to a player. Uh, password protect the file, if you want to put a password on it. And you pres preserve original authorship. You, you pretty much want to leave that ticked for now until you understand the differences. All right, then you click go. And that's gonna basically uh, shut down Realmworks and go back to the load screen and go through a uh, zero to 100% process uh, where it spits out one of these files. And there you go, you can then uh, you know, give that to your mate. You can uh, share that on the forums. I don't know where we're gonna be putting these things. Um, or I imagine once the content market's out, they could be released on there. Haven't seen the content market yet, so it'll be interesting to see how this sort of combines. Uh, obviously this functionality is required for the content market to work. So. That's it. That's an export. Um, it's a really simple process, uh, but really powerful because now you can effectively take one copy of your ex your realm and you can make another copy of your realm. All right, which is fantastic. Um, now the reason why you might want to use a copy or an uh, or an export, and it's probably a good idea to discuss that. A copy is a copy. An export is an export that maintains links effectively. So it's going to get a little bit more intricate with an export. Uh, because effectively what you could do is export out of one realm that's got links to something, import into another realm um, that's got um, the same content and the links should all maintain themselves apparently. Um, need to do some really advanced testing there to see how that works, but um, I'm sure we're going to learn as we go. 
Now, the other option up here is a export realm structure. So some of you might be wondering what that is. Uh, this is more of an advanced feature. If we go to manage and we go over to categories, you know, this is the sort of thing that is your realm structure. All right, it's the fact that, you know, I've got a unique monster that I've created here. Um, if I was to export it, I could basically import my unique monster into another realm. And for the, the advanced users who go through and make their own categories all the time, this is probably going to be some pretty cool um, functionality for them. I'm not going to focus on it because I don't think there's a lot of people that will want to use this straight away. Now the custom or partial export is where things get really interesting. Um, and this is where we're going to spend the most time. All right. So what I've been doing is going through and basically prepping everything um, that I want to export. Um, and it says here, to export a subset of your realm to a file, first create and save a new export definition below. All right, so let's do this. We're going to go through. We're going to go export. We're going to go we be goblins. All right, for anyone who saw my import video, you'd, you'd notice that I've already played with the Weeby Goblins um, content that Realmworks uh, Lone Wolf have actually provided me. Um, so that that's actually something that everyone's going to get for free already. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just very quickly uh, to put in an image address. I go to Realmworks. I just throw a picture here. All right, so I'm going to bring in my Weeby Goblins. Now, this this video is going to tie in with something else by the time we're done here, um, and it's probably not going to make a lot of sense straight up. But just hold with me, and let's see what happens. All right, so I'm setting up the um, the the export definition. So I save this. All right, and then it says, now close this window and assign the corresponding export tag to the content you want to export. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. I've got my Weeby Goblins. I'm going back to my World Almanac. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is come up here. I'm going to go Manage Topic Views. I'm going to have a look. Now I've hit my max here, and I do that all the time. Uh, I'll probably get rid of the sewers under sand wall for now. I'm going to create a Weeby Goblins. Now we'll give it an icon. Now we can't show that in the ribbon box. So I've got another one turned on. I think it's time for me to buy a new computer just so I can run Realmworks better. All right, we're going to turn on Weeby Goblins and click done. All right, you can see Weeby Goblins is now up here. Now, if I click on that, there won't be anything in there. All right, effectively, there shouldn't have been anything in here. Did that work or did I actually? Oh, because I assigned content to it. I, I get you. All right, so I need to go through and remove everything uh, from this view. Actually, the easiest way for me to probably do this is just to manage my views. Um, and I'm just going to delete this view. Sorry, just so you can see my error. Uh, we be goblins showing ribbon bar and see I shouldn't have ticked that option all right so click done now we've got we be goblins and now it'll be empty and that's what I want all right fantastic it's empty now we go back to the build almanac um, and this is where I want to basically start looking at my we be goblins content so I've got we be goblins and I'm going to basically right click on this and I'm going to assign to view Weeby Goblins. I'm going to assign the contained topics, yes. And that's going to send that over. All right. I'm also going to bring re. Uh, no, actually, I won't. I'll leave Weeby Goblins 2 out for now. Um, and then we're going to go over to the mechanics reference. And we're going to do a very similar thing over here. We're going to come down here. We're going to manage article views. We're going to create a view. I'm going to call it Weeby Goblins Mechanics or Mech. Um, we'll leave that icon there. All right, done. And what we want in here is I'm going to need the monsters uh, from Weeby Goblins. There they are. Just waiting for my system to catch up with me. There we go. No, I 
responsive. See, Deplunk needs a new computer. Time to try and convince the wife. Probably important to notice because a lot of you guys are going to be right clicking on your content here. We have identified a bug uh, when you're right clicking on content that has lots of embedded content underneath it. Uh, what you're seeing here is effectively that bug. Um, Lone Wolf are aware and they're working on a fix. Um, for now, I'm just going to focus on clicking on small things instead of big things. Uh, so we be goblins, we right click. We go assign to views, we be goblins mech. I'm going to also assign the uh, contained views, yes. All right, and that is now done. All right, fantastic. So now I have these views. What can I do with them, you say? All right, what I can do with them is come up in here and click this little toolbar option, and I can come down to bulk tagging. All right, and I can assign a tag to all articles in the navigation pane. Now, the article that I want to tag is from my export category, Weeby Goblins. All right, now that now goes through and tags all of the content. So if I look at this content here, I can see Weeby Goblins over here in the export tag. Scrap tongue, Weeby Goblins, it's right there. All right, and what they're doing is this is their way of saying we want to flag this article as needing to be in this export. Okay, so that's the Weeby Goblins mech. We need to go and do the Weeby Goblins story as well. All right, so as you can see, it's right there. So we're going to go to that toolbar. We're going to go bulk tagging and assign tag to all topics in the navigation bar. And I'm going to sign that export tag. All right, if I click on this now, you can see Weeby Goblins is there. Fantastic. Now I want to go back to share and go into my manage exports, back to my custom or partial export and go back to Weeby Goblins, I've now tagged all the content I want to export with this. All right, and we're ready to go. We click full export. So let's do this. Full export. Uh, I don't want to passport protect, uh, preserve. Yes, click export. We're going to save it in here. And here we go. So the export is now running. Um, and this shouldn't take very long because it's a relatively small module. Uh, obviously, the amount of time that it takes to export a realm is going to be highly dependent on basically how big the realm is. Um, I'll be honest, exporting my, my primary realm, uh, all five gigs of it these days, uh, is going to take me a few hours generally. Um, it's certainly it's certainly something that um, you just have to leave and, and let go. Um, but I'm, I'm completely okay with that. For anyone who's worked with Realmworks for a long time, you'll understand that uh, entering contact content is not necessarily a quick process. Uh, if you're going to do something completely from manual, you know, you're there for a while. So the concept of being able to um, just click export and then import, um, even if I have to go go away and watch a movie, I'm more than happy for that to happen. I think it's, it's a fantastic feature. All right. So now we're done. Export complete. We've now just done a custom export. Um, and if I go back here, I can see there's my Weeby Goblins. All right, you can see it's a 24 meg file. Uh, as you can see, I've been playing with some bigger ones. They're coming in around two and a half meg, uh, two and a half gigs, sorry. Um, and basically, there is a little bit of compression on those as well, so they're not full size. Um, there we have it, guys. That is a full export. That that's it, and it's done. We've just done an export. It's now ready to go. I could now give this module to someone. Um, it is a free module, so I'm pretty sure that would be okay. Please keep in mind that anything you are exporting and importing, copyright rules do apply, guys. So um, don't be exporting a player handbook and handing it out. Um, I think the idea is that we, we, we cross our fingers that we get a license from um, Wizards of the Coast and we can come along and buy our content. Uh, the Poser guys are really, really in a great spot. So if you're playing Pathfinder, I'm pretty sure the content market is going to look after you better than anybody else on the market at the moment. So really exciting times really really fun can't wait to see all the content that starts coming out um, and can't wait to see what people start doing with this so look if you've got any questions uh, or any comments please leave them in the uh, the comment section below um, I hope you guys really enjoy it if you found this video helpful please do subscribe um, in order to see other videos that I'll be putting out um, apart from that guys have a great night and we'll speak to you on the forums